friends, it's Georgia here. We're going to read some books today. Today we're going to read three books from Cat in the Hat. The first one is called If I Ran the Dog Show, all about dogs. The second book is called Hop on Pop. This one is really silly. And the third book we're going to read is The Cat in the Hat. And joining us today, we have our unicorn friend. Hi, unicorn. Okay. Are you ready to start reading? Come on. If I ran the dog show. I'm the cat in the hat and today we will go to the short shaggy tail waggy super dog show. Dogs are mammals like us and their senses are keen. We will meet lots of dogs and you'll see what I mean. Every dog is invited. The tickets are free. It's starting right now. Grab a leash. Follow me. Oh wow, look at these dogs. They're so happy. And they're really cute, huh? There are millions of dogs and they live the world over. Meet Plucky and Lucky and Ruby and Rover. There are big dogs and small dogs and dogs in between in more shapes and sizes than you've ever seen. Dogs are loyal and true and they're eager to please. They sniff everything, people, rocks, grass, and trees. Dogs can do lots of things. They like running and catching and howling and prowling and sniffing and scratching. Here is the world's biggest build a dog puzzle. This part of a dog's face is known as the muzzle, right here. Now I'll show you the ears, the withers, the crest, the shoulder, the elbow, the brisket, the chest. Dogs have a thick pad and four nails on each paw. On each foreleg, a fifth nail is called a dew claw. Did you know that? Because I didn't know that. This is called a dew claw. Dog's eyes can be golden, dark brown or light blue, round or triangular or almond shaped too. Their heads can be long and narrow like this Collie's or shorter and wider like this French Mastiff dog Molly's. Their ears come in all shapes and I happen to know erect ears stand up high and pendant ears hang low like this. His ears are up high and their ears are down low. Dogs' tails are all different. Some are straight and some bend. A hook tail hangs down, then curves up at the end. Tails can be short, long, straight, curly, or plume. Plucky wagged her long tail when I walked in the room. Tails help a dog balance. Look out, there goes Rover. His tail keeps him steady so he won't fall over. The tail muscles help hold it higher or lower and help a dog wag its tail faster or slower. He's waving his tail really fast. You see that? Dogs are carnivores, which means they eat meat. Their sharp teeth help make the meat easy to eat. I've studied dog's teeth. Now I've got it right. When the top teeth hang over, it's called an overbite. When the bottom teeth stick out like this bulldog's teeth do, it's called an underbite. Other dogs have this too. Fur helps keep dogs warm and protects their skin. Sarah's thick fur keeps her body heat in. Would you like to meet this nice dog named Shirley? Her fur is quite long and you see it is curly. Some dogs' coats have patterns. Look at Scratchy's back. His coat has a pattern of tan fur and black. Some dogs you see have loose folds in their coat. Dewlaps are loose folds up under their throats. Sarah was trained and now she understands the word sit, stay, and heal, which are spoken commands. Dogs may bark to tell you, let's go for a walk. But barking is the only way dogs can talk. 
If a dog starts to growl or has teeth that are bared, that means she is angry. If he whimpers, he's scared. If a dog feels okay, then its tail is upright. If its tail is drooping down, something might not be right. So his tail is drooping. He looks kind of sad. Dogs are all different breeds. You'll see in this book just how very different some of the breeds look. Irish wolfhounds like Baxter are breeds that is tallest. Chihuahuas like Chico are the breeds that is smallest. Purebreds have parents the same breed as each other, like these poodle puppies with their father and mother. This dog's name is Wendell. He likes to do tricks. What breed is Wendell? This dog is a mix. I have pictures right here of his father and mother. His father was one breed, his mother another. A mixed breed or a mutt, I can safely say, is the most common dog in the USA. German Shepherds are brave and have nerves that are steady. For any emergency, they're always ready. Look how brave he is, he's beautiful. Bloodhounds are so good at tracking a scent, if someone is lost, they can smell where they went. Labradors like Rover like to run, jump, and swim. Having fun with kids is perfect for him. Greyhounds have long legs, and these dogs I know can run fast, and they're always ready to go. Some dogs have short legs, like this Basset Hound, when she moves around, she's low to the ground. Silky terriers like Scampi have long hair that flows. Sometimes this long hair is held up with bows. Long hair like Scampi's is called a head fall. Chinese crested dogs have almost no hair at all. This dog's having puppies. She's patiently waiting. Dogs give birth about 63 days after mating. When she has her puppies, she'll have more than one. She could have 10 or more before she is done. Puppies like to play. They like snarling and biting. They're not really angry. They're only play fighting. Look at this mama pup. Let's count how many puppies she had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This mama pup had ten dogs. Here's a poem I wrote for the pages. It's a poem about how these puppies grow up in stages. I am a puppy by Cat in the Hat. I am one day old. I can't hear and can't see, but I can smell my mother. I know she's near me. I'm three weeks old. Now I start to explore. What's this? It's a toy I just found on the floor. I'm six weeks old. My sister wants to play, but she likes to bite, so I push her away. I am eight weeks old. There's a lot that I know. I have a collar and a leash, and I'm ready to go. Now it is time for the next presentation, a how do dogs see, hear, and smell demonstration. Dogs have good vision. Their keen sense of sight helps them see better than people in dim light. Dogs hear high-pitched sounds that people can't hear. Scratchy heard a mouse squeak and knew it was near. I blew this dog whistle, and though I was near it, Lucky heard the whistle, but I couldn't hear it. Dog noses work well when Jack smells your clothes. The smell goes to scent receptors in his nose. Then the olfactory nerve I would like to explain brings the smell from his nose right up to his brain. That's interesting. So he has nerves in his brain called the olfactory nerve and that's how he recognizes smells and that's how humans recognize smells too. Humans also have an olfactory nerve as well. Whenever a dog smells your clothes and you, it knows where you've been and what you're and what you've been up to. 
dogs can help people and here are a few of the helpful, helpful things some dogs can be trained to do. A seeing eye dog is trained as a guide. When his owner goes out, he is right at her side. Therapy dogs bring tail wagging cheer. People feel better when these dogs are near. They're specially trained, so when they're invited, they stay calm and friendly and don't get excited. Look at that. Did you know they actually use dogs in hospitals to help patients feel better? It's really special. Dogs are trained and they're very sweet and they just help people and they kind of, they're just calm. It's really nice. Assistance dogs like Bob can open up doors, turn on the lights, find lost keys, and pick things up off the floor. Sniffer dogs can find things with their keen sense of smell. If there's fruit in the suitcase, this beagle can tell. Search and rescue dogs work to find people in trouble. In an earthquake, they find those who are trapped in the rubble. Police dogs have badges. Scout, as you can see, is, is wearing his badge, number 6183. So look, that's Scout, the police dog. The dog show is over and I have a prize for every dog here, every color and size. Dogs live all around us and we've seen today, dogs live in our world in their own special way. When we walk in the door, they come running to meet us. Wet kisses and tail wags are right there to greet us. There are many things that these dogs can do, but what they want most is to spend time with you. Aw, that is so sweet. Do you have a dog at home? I'm curious if you have a dog or maybe a, a pet like a cat or a rabbit. I really like dogs. The next book we're going to read is Hop on Pop. And if I remember correctly, this one is super silly with a ton of funny words. Hop on pop. Up pup. Pup is up. Pup cup pup in cup. Pup cup cup on pup. Mouse house mouse on house. House mouse house on mouse. All tall. We are all tall. All small, we are all small. All ball, we all play ball. Ball wall, up on a wall. All fall, fall off the wall. Day play, we play all day. Night fight, we fight at night. He, me, he is after me. Him, Jim, Jim is after him. See B, we see a B. See B three. Now we see three. Look, one, two, three. Bzz. Three little bees. Three tree, three fish in a tree. Fish in a tree, how can that be? Red, red, they call me red. Red bed, I'm in bed. Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed in bed. So that's Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed. Pat, Pat, they call him Pat. Pat sat, Pat sat on hat. Pat, Cat, Pat sat on cat. Pat, Bat, Pat sat on bat. No, Pat, no, don't sit on that. Sad, Dad, Bad, Had. Dad is sad, very, very sad. He had a bad day. What a day Dad had. Thing, thing, what is that thing? Thing, sing, that thing can sing. Song, long, a long, long song. Goodbye, thing, you sing too long. Walk, walk, we like to walk. Walk, talk, we like to talk. Hop, pop, we like to hop. We like to hop on top of pop. 
stop. You must not hop on pop. Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown upside down. Pup up, brown down. Pup is down, where is brown? Where is brown? There is brown. Mr. Brown is out of town. Black, no, back, black. Brown came back. Brown came back with Mr. Black. See, even I mess up on words sometimes. So that's okay if you're reading and you get the word wrong. Snack, snack, eat a snack. Eat a snack with brown and black. Jump, bump, he jumped, he bumped. Fast, past, he went past, fast. Went, tent, sent, he went into the tent. I sent him out of the tent. Wet, get, two dogs get wet. Help, yelp, they yelp for help. Hill, will, will went up the hill. Will, hill, still, will is uphill still. Father, mother, sister, brother. That one is my other brother. My brothers read a little bit, little words like if and it. My father can read big words too, like Constantinople and Timbuktu. Say, say, what does this say? See, he, me, we, pat, pup, pop, he, three, tree, be, top, hop, stop. Ask me tomorrow, but not today. <laughs> this is a fun book, huh? Okay, and then the last book we're gonna read today is The Cat in the Hat. The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. The sun did not shine, it was too wet to play, so we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally, we sat there, we too, and I said how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out, too cold to play ball, so we sat in the house, we did nothing at all. So all we could do was sit, 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 and we did not like it, not one little bit. Bump! And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked, then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell the cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Oh, that fish looks a little angry, huh? Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call Up, Up, Up with a Fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book in one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I could do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat, I can hold up two books, I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. 
I can hold the toy ship and a little toy man. And look with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump. From there on the ball, and Sally and I, we saw all of the things fall. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it, not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is out. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat. To the fish in the pot, I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so the cat in the hat, so, so, so. I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back with a box. A big red wood box, it was shut down with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat in the hat, take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook, you will see something new, two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. The, these things will not bite you, they want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one. And they ran to us fast, they said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house, make them go. They should not be here when your mother is out, put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and I gave them a pat. They are tame, oh so tame, they have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like to play, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, no, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house, they should not. Oh, the things they will bump, oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it, not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump, down the wall in the hall. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with the hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, look, look. And our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home, do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, 
I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net, it came down with a plop, and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say, you pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat, you did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook, and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes. But your mother will come home, and she will find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, we cannot pick it up. There's no way at all. And then, who was back in the house? Why the cat? Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake, the rake, and the gown, and the milk, and the strings, and the books, and the dish, and the fan, and the cup, and the ship, and the fish. And he put them away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? <laughs> The end. So can you tell me which of these three books was your favorite? I think I like the dog show book the best because I really love dogs and I love learning about them. And I liked being able to tell you about the dogs too. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. I really appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to like this video and comment down below what you're reading. And if you would subscribe to my channel, then you can see when new videos come out. Well, I want to say thanks for hanging out with us. You have a good day. Bye. Bye, unicorn.